Hello everyone, this is Karin aka Satori Kamaya. Um, I received questions about how I create moons in my commissions or any other artwork. Now actually it's very simple, I use Photoshop for it. Uh, what you have to know is the moon is round. Duh. Uh, so I just take the circular one here. I take the shift code, go like this, make a new layer. I fill it with this color. It's actually almost white, like that. Now uh, I keep it selected. There are actually two ways of making moon dimensions. First of all, so we take this one. Yes, we're going to look for the leaf brush. Let's see. The leaf brush. <laughs> Should tell a joke in the meantime, actually. There we go. Now, first of all, uh, you can actually make a leaf. But the problem is with the leaf, you don't see its details very much. So what actually I do is take the burn tool and then start doing that first one because most of the time the moon is dark at the right side. So and then I go again to I make the brush a tiny bit smaller and go over here. So see we're getting darker and darker. So here we go. And then we keep this selector, we go to filter, and we're going to um, desort, so here, desort, spearize, I hope I say this right, I'm not uh, an English talking girl, and we press OK. We're doing that again. Hmm. Hmm. Spearize, there we go. Hmm. Actually, for this time, actually one time is enough. It depends the size you actually made the moon. So, if you look now, that's a pretty moon. But, the moon shines. So, what were we going to do? We're going to double click on it. So, layer style, we're going to use an outer glow. The outer glow, I most of the time present with this one. I'll make it blue. Make the size like this. Like that. But I put the opacity a little lower. There we go. So, and this is actually a very simple way of how to create a moon. Now, sometimes the moon looks like it's been chopped off. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? So, what are we going to do? First of all, we're going to merge this layer. So, and then we're going to create a new circle. I first test the circle if it's almost, you know, that size. So we're going to take it like this. So, and then we're going to uh, select and modify. We're going to feather this. Haha, <laughs> feather. We select, most of the time I select 25. I have to test this and then delete. And then you actually get this kind of moon. There you go. And you actually have this crescent moon. Well, if you live in Malaysia, it looks like this. Depend <laughs> depending what country you actually want to make your drawing in. Now, as you can see here, uh, my background has clouds. So, so, we're going to move the moon a little bit. And we're going to use this tool, you know, the square with a little hole in so we're using the gradient tool make sure like that and then we're going like this so it looks like you know like the moon comes actually out of the clouds so and that's how you actually make a crescent moon so i hope you enjoyed this small tutorial and i hope you actually now can create your own beautiful moons so this was quite simple if you have any other questions then contact me i am always willing to listen uh, 
actually read in this occasion and try to help you out as far as I can. So, well, <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye!